there is a new treatment option available for a treatment of subset of patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy that has now become available and FDA approved recently uh, that we can provide to the patients to help correct a genetic uh, defect that causes the Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The new drug is called Exxon Dys51, which has been developed and it's a biologic that um, we can give through an IV uh, route and can help uh, correct uh, the glitch on the gene or the abnormality or the gene defect. So there are other um, genetic neuromuscular diseases such as spinal um, muscular atrophy, which is a devastating um, neurogenetic and neuromuscular disease. Uh, and until recently, this was a death sentence for the patient. Uh, and now we have a new treatment option that we can, we can provide to the families, especially with the common type, which is related to a gene defect called SMN1. This is a form of genetic treatment that we can uh, offer to the patient, of course, depending on the patient uh, overall condition and when they present it to us. So for the treatment for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, we had the privilege of being of one of the uh, early and very few centers in the country that participated in the early trials of this drug that was recently approved. So the future for the treatment of neuro different neuromuscular disease, in particular Duchenne and other devastating neuromuscular disease such as spinal muscular atrophy as well, is genetic treatment. We are part of different clinical trials that are using biologics that can offer genetic treatment options. In addition to other non-biologic, they can also help offer treatment options for the patients. At the same time, while we're offering treatment, we're also providing them with support and also the other therapies that they need, such as physical therapy or genetic counseling and looking at the patient from every aspect.